Oh, I almost forgot. There was one other thing that was sitting in the dumpster, if you can believe it. A, um, a Marshall stomp pedal. So let's see if these things are actually all that and a bag of chips by right, popping it open. Okay, so four screws in the corner is all that's required to open this thing up. And really, it's just a, um, a, uh, a switch. So there shouldn't be too much um, of interest in here, I wouldn't imagine. But let's just see. Yeah, look at that. It's just a switch, a pair of switches, actually. And the idea is, are these things skookum? And well, you know what? Something tells me those are just simple switches that you would get in any reasonable, like anybody would buy switches like that. Okay, it's not, okay, so there's a little bit of schmoo on the circuit board to keep it from, but yeah, they're just normal, normal switches. There's a diode there. Uh, what's that diode doing? Uh, red, black. It's just a pair of switches. So the only the only mechanical piece about this thing is the actuators. And so there's a spring over top of a... Oh, what would you call that thing? Right there. There's the little button press. Okay, so there's a mechanical stop that doesn't allow it to go any farther. So you have to do a little bit of work on figuring out how far that actually protrudes. And then you have to bend, make sure that that's bent correctly. But I mean, that's not rocket science for crying out loud. And yeah, all it is is a normal um, push button that you would find in almost any piece of electronics with a little bit of schmoo, some nice strain relief here. The cable is probably um, good quality. I mean, the wire gauge is certainly more than sufficient for doing switching applications. Oh my gosh, I mean, couldn't possibly need more than that. So yeah, I've, it's got the Marshall name on it, so it's gotta be worth something extra. But uh, yeah, that's all that's inside. Um, the remote switcher. Um, so you want a cable. Basically, what you're buying is a a case that's well engineered. You're buying a cable that's well engineered, but this thing doesn't even have any markings on it, so we can't even tell what kind of cable it is. But you know, it's got a reasonable wire gauge, and but it doesn't look like there's any yeah no shielding on it whatsoever. So um, it's just a switch after all, um, a remote control for your amplifier. Nothing too spectacular. And in the um, cabling department, a new trick, um, interconnect cable with uh, TR uh, tip ring, uh, TR connectors on both sides. Um, I don't know. It, if it's all right or not. I mean, it looks pretty nice on the inside. I mean, really. But the proof is in the plugging it in. Like, I mean, it could have been abused and bent and sh like, and stuff like that. So <clears throat> we'll have to check it out. But, uh, but yeah, uh, the crap people throw away. My gosh. 50 bucks? Somebody wants 50 bucks for this thing. That's insane. It's because it says Marshall on it. Marshall.